Zuma Radio, AM 740. Downtown Toronto, FM 96.7. The Beatles, you want to know a secret. Happy Gang here, which today includes Jeremy Hodge. Yes, it does. It headlining, includes me. Headlining tomorrow night at Casino <laughs> Rama Resort. Where there's, very, out, where there's very few blue dots left. Yeah. Hardly any tickets left for this show. Uh, tomorrow night, you gotta you gotta jump on the website and get them. Watch it just be broken, and I get there tomorrow, and it's just a <laughs> like, billion <laughs> empty seats. It looks like an Argos game. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you realize that that if they do come, I will more people will see me tomorrow than have seen the Argos all season. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Oh, yes. because back in back in the day. Last time you were in town, uh, the Argos were a going concern. They, they were, were a big deal. And I went to, I'll tell you a story. I went to uh, an Argos game uh, by myself because I asked all my friends and they wouldn't come. So I went by <laughs> myself and uh, I was sitting, uh, they were playing the Hamilton Tiger Cats and I was right. sitting low right in front of the Hamilton Tiger Cat cheerleaders. An unsavory group. <laughs> let me just say, <laughs> let me just say, they, uh, they seem subpar compared to other ones. I okay. See. I see. Yeah. Yeah. And they shouldn't be swearing in the in the in the cheers either. In I the, mean, yes, swearing? they can't. You, I know it's Hamilton, but come on, clean it up, <laughs> clean it up. There's kids in the crowd. There's one child in the crowd out of the three people. <laughs> I can't. I can't stop. See if it, they did it to themselves. Come on, man. You kick a you kick a field goal. You miss. They give you a point anyway because they feel sorry for you. What a stupid game. <laughs> I'm just saying, have you seen Saskatchewan? They have the same colored jerseys as the field. Yeah. Yeah. They think they're camouflaged. That's how dumb. Okay. CFL comedy. I right? love it. I because love he can't it. do this when he's in Los no. Angeles. Right? I'm just thinking of it. Shut up. I'm, I might do it. I might do it at Casino Rama, depending how many blue dots there are out there. Because the blue dot on their website is an empty seat, and we figured out that there's like 30 or 40 empty seats left out of the five or six thousand that this place holds. So you got to grab your Which I find hard to believe, and I think there's a glitch. I really do, because it's a computer, and it's probably wrong. Do you remember when Yuck Yucks used to have that location over on Queen Street West? They called it the Yuck Yucks Studio, and we there were shows every once in a while. You walk on, there were like two people in the Oh, crowd. it stunk. And, and didn't it double as like a karaoke place called Sing Sing? Wasn't that oh, the same? Yes. Remember that dumb idea you had? Oh, yeah. He tried to he tried to franchise karaoke. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. That was just not clever. Remember how long Sing Sing lasted? About as long as it took for them to put up the sign. <laughs> <laughs> You're halfway through putting the letters up and somebody's like, no, 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 no we're done. Dad. We're calling it off. I saw you looking a little forlornly there when I was uh, telling the story about Hugh Hefner's death. Oh, yeah, you know, I know. That brings back memories. Those were the first naked women I ever saw in my life. I stole them from my father, and uh, we had a loft, and we used to take out all the centerfolds, and we used to hang them in the loft. And then years later, my mom uh, had found out that Playboys cost a lot of money, so she took them to one of those uh, magazine stores, and she wanted to, you know, sell them back to the guy. And the guy said, they're worthless. None of them have any centerfolds in them. <laughs> Yeah. But what yeah. about those articles? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Get the stereo advice, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is, I mean, that, that's that's the end of an era. I mean. I'm sad about it. The, the era had kind of passed with the onset of the internet age and everything right. else. Yeah. But still. There's something nice about, uh, but the kids today, they don't know the joy of a pornographic magazine. <laughs> I mean, you get to turn the pages and everything. It really it's is. A nos- it's a nostalgic thing for yes. m- men of your generation. Yes. You know what you don't do uh, with a magazine? You don't click on anything. It's true. No. Nah. It's true. And nah. now, I mean, all joking aside for a second, they did have some of the best, uh, Playboy had some of the best writers. Oh, yeah. And they also did interviews with really famous people. Yeah. Yeah. Like like Bob Dylan, people right? like this, you know. And so. they were and they were the interviews that got into the stuff that they weren't telling everybody else. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because Playboy would talk about anything, and so you could get stuff out of like like Jeremy says an interview with Dylan or Springsteen mm-hmm. or somebody like that that they would go places that nobody else was talking about. Plus the cartoons were funny. Cartoons. Remember the old naked lady? Oh, that was hilarious. That old <laughs> grandmother always trying to hit on the young guy. That killed me. She was always naked and she had a really big chin. Remember? <laughs> Remember her? She looked like Hillary. 
<laughs> oh, that's not fair to the Playboy lady. <laughs> Ryan Adams here with Jeremy Hotz joining the Happy Gang at Zuma Radio. Timeless hits in Toronto. Just a small town girl.